so you might be wondering why that ended up inside of there and the answer is these so i had the stifflers fit system for my car had this thing up in my attic for years and we're going to be throwing that in the reason why is i want to get the coyote started as i mentioned last episode and i don't want to put the fuel tank in and run lines until i have this welded in could i do it absolutely but it will make the whole process faster i can make sure that when i get that fuel system in the car everything's more permanently placed and my buddy liam has a chance of helping me out so i'm gonna take that and just get these thrown in the car it's a lot harder to get that thing in by myself with all the extra weight in it all right so first thing we got to do is you got to remove the seats but i just did that so what <laughs> dramatic effect anyways uh take seat out all that get the car jacked up and then you have to align the actual subframe connectors up into the floor so we'll show you that when that's in this audio has a lot of stuff going on like that what we're doing is cleaning off the finish on the metal here and also the metal on the car and then on the inside here you have these that are marked out by uh, they have tape over it you peel that off and then we're taking off the paint on this and that side uh, this is supposed to be closer but my car has been jacked up from here a bunch of times hello Pedro so we got this lined up to where we think it should be, and we're gonna throw some tacks in this beach. We're good. Your helmet's on grind mode. Actually, I changed it. Did you? Yeah, I actually did. Because technically, if it was a good helmet, it wasn't BS. Uh huh. It would turn off as soon as it would see like the light from the screen. It actually did turn off for a second, oh, okay. but it has different sensitivity. You need a turbo system for this? Uh, one day. No, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. So while he's working, I'm going to explain what we did real quick. We lined up the front half here with the markings on the other side. Got that in place, all nice. And then lined up the outside here with the same thing. Uh, we still have to tack this to the actual pinch welds, but we're going to get the passenger side in place first, and then we'll worry about it later. We also have to do up there but i might do that myself later because it's not really for more structure because it's already going to be way too strong but i just i don't know i kind of want it more finished off it might look a little bit better so we're going to do the passenger side get this finished up and i'll show you guys the finished product is this osha approved probably not probably not yeah. i mean whatever works right so this crap wasn't straight at all. So we had to beat that with a hammer and with this, get the pinch welds relatively straight. We aren't gonna bridge that gap. Uh, obviously the factory frame rails there are just a little bit messed up, so not worth it. Maybe in the future, I'll put some metal there in between it and we'll weld it up there. Probably not, uh, but that's not something I'm gonna worry about right now. So we're gonna get the uh, pinch weld part up here, this pinch weld rail, and then, you know, the pieces that bridge it, and then we should be good. Has this taken way too long? Yes. I blame the car. It's not a DeLorean though. Yeah, at least it's not a DeLorean. All right, we got this all welded in. Uh, this car is old and the metal wasn't very good. So 
these welds aren't very pretty, but he likes TIG better anyways, and I was making him do it with my MIG. Regardless, if we come underneath, we get this in. So, we're not ready to paint it. Um, I'm gonna do that another day because he's gotta go, and I gotta get this thing off the lift and fix that hose that's making noise over there. But yeah, Stifler's fit system in the car. Kinda cool. This weather here wasn't helping me get anything on video because I had to beat the, uh, the rain into here. But now that I got the car back in my possession at my shop, I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning up the welds. So everywhere that has welds on it, I just gotta clean all this slag off and whatever, and then I'm just gonna spray paint it black. So that's what I'll be doing next. I don't think I'm gonna record it, but you guys can get the gist of it. I made a mess, I made a real big mess. Um, so obviously off camera, I started removing all the sound deadening and I just used this to do it. Even though dry ice might've been better, I just didn't have access to it and I wanted to get this done. So my next task is gonna be getting all this crap out of my car. I'm like Salt Bay, but probably with like cancerous little beads of whatever this is. Um, anyways, that's what I'm gonna do. So just gonna vacuum it. I don't think you guys really care to watch it. I was gonna bring the car outside and blow it off afterwards, but with this whole rain thing, I don't really feel like it. Oh yeah, not the same day and it's raining. Still. So what I've done a little bit off camera is I got the rest of the sound deadening out of the car, front to rear, and then I vacuumed all this out, cleaned it, sprayed it, repeat, you know, all that jazz. So this stuff I'm still gonna have to clean up and figure out the best way to get that off. But for now, we can start working on this hole in the front. Uh, we're gonna patch this hole right here. We're gonna patch that in the rear. And then I think there's a little spot on that side that I might just seam seal. But the main thing that we wanna do is start patching this hole. So I needed to get the rest of the sound deadening out of the car uh, just in order to finish up what I'm doing. I also removed a bunch of the seam sealer. We're gonna re-seam seal a bunch of this stuff just because of all the metal work we've been doing. And um, you know, also it's a bunch of old stuff, so. All right, so we got that hole patched up. Got that hole patched up. Uh, got all of them pretty much. The reason I have this primer on here is because I'm not gonna be back in the shop for about a week. I just ran out of time. And I have a busy schedule this week for work. So I'm gonna have to call the video there. Uh, sorry if it's kind of short, sorry if, you know, you don't see a lot, but I was sacrificing a little bit of the video, that way I could get some progress done on the car. So when we come back, we'll try to clean this up. We'll do the seam sealer. After that, I think it's time to get the fuel system in the car and try to start the coyote. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Get the pinch welds relatively straight. I just got assaulted. Um, anyways, do you mind? <laughs>